In the last video, we got Log4Net to append data to a local database. So let's pick up where we left off. You can download the project files from part 1 below if need be. I'm going to start by right-clicking on the Controllers folder and select Add Controller. When the dialog appears, select MVC5 Controller with Views using Entity Framework. I'm just going to let Visual Studio write up as much of the plumbing for me as possible. We see a dialog appear. Choose Log for your model class, select Application DB Context for your Data Context class, and make sure that you select a layout. You can just delete the Create, Edit, and Delete methods along with their scaffolded views. We won't be using them. We can also delete the Index view. We're going to rescaffold this one as a partial view momentarily. Let's change the name of our index method to get logs. We'll also change the return type to partial view. We'll specify a path to a partial view that we haven't created yet. We'll also add order by descending to our link expression. Now let's right click on our get logs method and select add view. We'll see another dialog window. Change the name to underscore get logs, the template to list, the model class to log, and the data context class to application db context. Also, make sure that create as partial view is selected. Open the newly created partial view and let's add some bootstrapping to make it look nice. I'm not going to go into explaining bootstrap here because that's not what you're here for. All of the code that I'm about to paste here is available on my website. So just go ahead and overwrite your underscore git logs .cshtml file with this. Finally, let's go to the home folder and open up index.cshtml. We're going to replace all the code here with this. Build and run and you should see a simple logging dashboard using log for net. If you're having any problems, you can always download the project files and see what you've missed. You can also feel free to comment below and I'll see if I can help. 